So our web server is up and running, but sometimes we're going to rely on additional server-side technologies that may not come pre-installed with Apache. Now, that's not a big deal. We have a bunch of other things supported via the use of Apache modules. And I can view my currently active modules, and get over to the right window, by issuing the command Apache to CTL-M. And so this will show all of my loaded modules. And let's say my site is running PHP. Well, I don't have a PHP module here active, so my site is not going to function. So I need to find and install a PHP module. So I can do apt search, um, and my modules are going to be under lib2, or not lib2, lib apache2 dash mod. And this is going to list all of the modules for me. Now, there's a whole bunch of them there. And notice it's going to break it down to two lines. So there is the uh, module name and then what it does. I can also do the same thing using aptitude, which will give it all to me on one line. All right. We're going to go back. Now let's do aptitude. Now, if I'm looking specifically for PHP, I can scroll through here and look for it, or I can pipe it to grep and search for PHP and have that try to find it for me. And I'm going to find two things. So I've got lib apache 2-mod-php, which is server-side HTML embedded scripting language, and I've got version 7.2. So let me go ahead and install version 7.2. So that's going to be apt install and the whole name lib apache 2-mod-php 7.2 and that should install my PHP module for me and this will take just a minute okay there we go and you'll notice here it says in enable uh, Apache to invoke enable module PHP 7.2. So I can look and see if that has been successfully enabled. Once you install a module, it has to be enabled. So I'm going to confirm that it has using the Apache to CTL dash capital M. And here I'm going to see my PHP module is now enabled. Now, if for some reason did not enable it, the command to enable it would be A2 EN mod and then just PHP 7.2. I don't need the whole name, just that last part of it to identify the module. And in this case, it's going to say right here, module is already enabled. All right, now I do need to restart my uh, Apache web server. So it's systemctl restart Apache 2. And then to make sure that it works, systemctl status Apache 2. All right, there we go. So we have uh, searched for and found an Apache module, installed it, made sure it was enabled, and restarted the server to activate it. So our Apache server now supports um, PHP.